Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toaster Bros, and today we're going to be building a $400 X79 gaming PC. Of course, we have another AliExpress special, and this motherboard CPU combo is actually a really good value for the money. But before we get into that, let's talk about today's video sponsor, Loop Deck. Loop Deck Live is a new versatile professional console for streaming, editing, and color grading with a highly adaptable user interface that works all across all facets of streaming, creative editing, and design process. The Loop Deck Live provides native API integration with OBS Studio, Streamlabs OBS, Twitch, Spotify, and the Adobe Creative Cloud Suite, along with Final Cut Pro. When Loop Deck sent over the Loop Deck Live, we actually gave it to our video editor, McAllister, to use in Premiere Pro, and he's absolutely loving it for being able to do some color correction on the fly, have some built-in macros for ease of editing to speed up the editing process. We make a lot of videos here at the Toasty Bros. And overall, it's been a great compliment to his editing arsenal of tools. The Loop Deck is a great thing to use for streaming, especially with OBS and Streamlabs OBS. When you're live streaming at Twitch, you can use the dials on the Loop Deck to control audio, make sure you're getting perfect audio levels, which are very important for live streams, and also have functionality baked into Streamlabs OBS, like scene switching. What I really like about Loop Deck as well is as a company, we were actually able to give them some suggestions and within a few days, they actually implemented them for us, which is really awesome to see. So if you're interested in checking out the Loop Deck Live, link's in the description down below. Be sure to check it out. And special thanks again to Loop Deck for sponsoring today's video. Go get that Loop Deck Live. So what we have here in the heart of this beat up box is the 1620 V2, which is a four core, eight threaded processor on the X79 platform. And honestly, not the ugliest looking motherboard that I've seen. So it does have a nice green and black color scheme to it. It does indeed come with RAM installed. We have a whopping 16 gigs that's all matching RAM and it's quad channel, which is actually pretty cool. We actually have a total of four sticks, so maxed out on the memory. Um, we do actually have to worry about the actual cooler mounting, which looking at this, I don't know if it's gonna work. We will have to figure out the cooler situation because we did have an Arctic cooler picked out, but not sure if it's gonna fit now. We will have links in the description down below though for a cooler that definitely does fit. And then this really nice uh, Huan Zai motherboard, I believe I'm saying that right, which honestly we've been pretty impressed with lately. They've actually had a lot of really cool features that we didn't expect such as M.2 that may or may not work. Um, we actually have an angled 24 pin, which wow, I would love to see that on uh, pretty much any motherboard. We actually have a built-in IO shield, just like we had with the last Xeon build we did. So the biggest difference between this Xeon build and the last one we did was this motherboard here is only $150 with the CPU and RAM and totaling budget is only gonna be $400, which is pretty crazy bang for the buck. For the actual GPU, we have a 580 lookalike, but it's not. This is actually an R9 390 eight gig card. So. Overall, this is still a pretty good card. Obviously, it's a little bit outdated because the 580s are slightly newer, but you know what? It's gonna get the job done and it is extremely heavy, but it's gonna look really good in this build, especially with the uh, green and black color scheme yeah, we got going on let's here. Go. Now for storage, we went with this silicon power 512 gigabyte SSD. This is just your standard two and a half inch SSD because well, we want to make sure this thing works perfectly. We've had some issues in the past getting the M.2s to work on some of these cheaper motherboards. So just to make sure we went with a two and a half inch and also it's cheaper. So this will be more than enough storage to get windows installed, a couple of games up and running. And yeah, it's a good solid deal. Do I even have to say anything here, guys? Thermal take, smart, 500 watt. Favorite power supply, favorite go-to, prime shipping on Amazon. Check the link in the description down below. Great option. Now this is a case I'm actually very excited about. We were looking for a case for this build that was gonna be under around $60. And well, this one comes in right at $60. This is the Montec X1. And believe it or not, it comes with tempered glass. It comes with three ARGB fans and it's under 60 bucks and it comes with a basement and it looks really, really nice. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and build in this thing, see how nice it actually is. And hopefully we have a really awesome $400 gaming PC that you at home can build today.
right, ladies and gentlemen, now that we have this $400 X79 PC all put together, let's talk about some benchmarks real quick, shall we? Now, the first game we decided to test was a new one, Wolfenstein Youngblood. And using their built-in benchmark on high settings, we got over 100 plus FPS using the Vulcan API. Oh, how I love the Vulcan API, and I hope it's implemented in more games in the near future. But being able to run on this older hardware and get over 100 FPS is just a good sign, showing that Vulcan is a really awesome utilizer of older hardware and gives you the most out of your PC. And this $400 computer looks really, really good in Wolfenstein Youngblood using the built-in benchmark. So if you have any games that run on Vulcan, definitely consider trying it because it could definitely give you a lot of free performance using this configuration. The next game we tested was Rainbow Six Siege. Rainbow Six Siege is our built-in benchmark game of choice for games like Valorant, CSGO, Fortnite, any of those esports titles out there. You will get a good representation by testing Rainbow Six Siege and getting these numbers show that this $400 computer can definitely get up and boogie with pretty much any esports title out there. Now this is a perfect time to mention a couple of things and a couple of concerns I know most of you have as viewers when looking at this PC build. One, AliExpress. I think AliExpress gets a really bad rap for really no reason whatsoever. A lot of people do buy stuff from AliExpress that are sketchy and they get sketchy things, but I think people really misunderstand what AliExpress is. It's literally like eBay, but based out of China. That's pretty much what AliExpress is. You can get stuff just like you would on eBay. There are sellers, there are people who buy from sellers, and there's a rating system. So if you are smart and you do some shopping and you look at the reviews, you can see reviews of people getting the hardware. Sellers have ratings and you can check those ratings to see how reputable they are. So a lot of people who just think AliExpress is a constant scam are totally wrong. It is just like eBay, but just based in China. Yeah, you can buy some sketchy things on there, but if you do use some of the stuff that we recommend, you're most likely not going to get scammed. Now the next game we decided to test was Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and in Warzone we got, well, over 60 FPS on medium high settings, which is to be expected with this kind of configuration. In this configuration, we start to realize that the R9 390 is the bottleneck, which as I mentioned numerous times on our PC build guides, is definitely a good thing because that means you could easily slap in a brand new GPU without any problems and have, well, a little bit of wiggle room and not get bottlenecked by the CPU, which is that E5 1650 V2. It actually has a little bit of room for upgrades. So if you could get something like, let's say a 1660 Super or go for a 1660 Ti, or maybe even just go RX 580 if you want a more reliable card that's not gonna be super hot like the R9 390, you could definitely do that with the CPU and have no problems whatsoever. But given that the R9 390 comes with eight gigs of VRAM and has some really awesome performance, it doesn't mean it's not a bad option at all and it doesn't make sense. It really does work. And for a $400 computer, I mean, the performance speaks for itself. $400, you're getting a lot of FPS for your money. And lastly, we tested everyone's favorite game, Fortnite, on pro settings, which is epic view distance, everything else on low at 1080p, we got pretty much over 100 FPS most of the time. Now this is where that Xeon starts to show some of its age. In esports titles, when you're running on pro settings, you become much more CPU dependent, which means the clock speeds and architecture of that CPU are much more important. And the fact that these older Xeons are, well, older and normally have lower clock speeds, you start to see that there are dips below 100 FPS most of the time. Now this doesn't mean I wouldn't recommend this for Fortnite, I'm just saying it wouldn't be an ideal configuration for pro Fortnite because you will have some stutters here and there on pro settings and you might want to do some configuration with the settings to make it more GPU bound when you are running this game. But it does run Fortnite very well and compared to some of our other budget systems out there, I don't think it's too far off to be not recommended for a game like Fortnite. So overall, I'm very impressed with this PC build for the money. AliExpress is a great resource for those trying to save money and want to get some really awesome PC parts, and we highly suggest you consider it for your next PC build. How about we go ahead and bring Jackson back in here to wrap this video up real quick. So as you guys could tell by the benchmarks, for $400, you're getting a lot of gaming for the buck. Now, of course, you are buying this combo from AliExpress. So if you're in the US, you're probably gonna deal with long shipping times, potentially losing it, and our motherboard coming soaking wet like it did. Uh, but it ended up working perfectly fine, and just keep that in mind. There are some slight risks when buying from AliExpress, but we've done two builds very recently that we are absolutely in love with in terms of price performance, so really awesome there. Uh, this case from Montec, the X1, really cool case, but one thing you might notice, the fans only stay this color, so it's not really art. RGB, but like if you like this color profile, it's actually really good. Mesh front, airflow out the back, it's still a really good value at $60. 
And as far as the cooler goes, because this is basically an RI as a lock Xeon, we're not doing any overclocking or anything, that cooler is a little bit overkill. You could honestly just use like the size of a stock Intel cooler, but this is the X79 profile, so it's a much bigger uh, bracket. So if you just buy one on AliExpress, it'll fit the socket. We'd highly recommend doing that or eBay or even Amazon or something like that if you want to get one really quick. So check the links in the description down below for up-to-date links on all the parts of this PC build, including the cooler. Definitely check out AliExpress. The exact listing might not be there because sellers do come and go on AliExpress, but we'll try to keep that as up-to-date as possible. Links in the description down below. They are affiliate links. If you do use those links, they do help us out. So if you haven't already, don't forget to check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toasterbros. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Time to do it. <laughs>